Feel the seat underneath you. Feel yourself sinking down into it, enfolding you. It's a nice feeling. Well, um, lovely to meet you. Um, we're here talking Antichrist. Um, it's quite a dark film and it's caused quite a lot of controversy. When you agreed to do the film, boy, did you know what you kind of let yourself into? Sure, because it's strong material and Lars von Trier has a track record of um, either people loving him or hating him. <laughs> Tell me what you think is supposed to happen in the woods. Where are you? I should not come here. Get out! What kind of relationship do you have to establish to film, you know, such very graphic and radical you scenes? You know, it's sometimes when when uh, what you're required to do is extreme. I want to say something strange, like it's easier because you have no choice. You can't second guess it. Satan's church. Satan, Jesus. Nature is Satan's church. And Lars was very demanding of us, so we had each other sort of to hang on to. Uh, but where we went was really between us. And to see a trust, that leap of faith happen, um, is, it encourages you. It's, it's, it's uplifting, it gives you energy. Do you think um, all, yeah, all these graphic scenes had to be shown? I do. I mean, had to. It, it's hard because we did them and I think they work well. And uh, I'm not in a position where I had to, where I wanted to decide is this correct or not. You can only go by your feeling. And um, I think they're very important because they let the audience share in un uncomfortable feelings, in unfamiliar feelings. And I think when that happens, if you're open to the ride, great things can happen. Insights can happen, a, a kind of emotional release or an emotional attachment to the story can come that you don't have if you embrace kind of conventions of violence or things that aren't so viscerally disturbing. Do you think there would be a third time between you and Lars? Because it was the second time. Um, you know, I hope so. I hope so. I really... Um, he's an... He's a very strange guy, but I, he's very dear to me. And um, I, I, one thing that people don't know about him because he can be quite clever and quite perverse and quite provocative, and is he's very um, kind. He's really a very kind person, and he struggles. And um, part of the inner life of this whole movie was seeing him in those terms. Uh, yeah, it fueled, uh, you know, this movie was so tough you had to humanize the characters. Um, and the relationship with Lars helped me to, that, that was part of the fuel for that inner life of that character. Um, yeah, thank you very much. I will have a million more questions for you, but lovely meeting you. Oh, great, great. Pleasure. Thank you.